Okay, we're going to take apart the Evo 11 uh, to install the dart kit, which they include the new dart boat, as you can see, as well as the new valve, which has to be installed. Comes with the valve and the exhaust. So, first thing you want to do is take out your macro line, take off the reg. You don't necessarily have to take out the macro line on both ends, just take out one side so you can take the rig out. Next thing you want to do is take off the handle screws. Uh, in case you're wondering, on my Ego 11, I have a red screw kit. These I got from Kila, or Killa. Uh, pop this open. Take out your harness, pop out your wiring harness, like so. Take out the body screws, because you have to take the trigger frame off the main body. slide this off and take the wire harness out of the frame set your trigger frame side now you want to flip this upside down now we your allen keys we want to take out the bolt that holds your LP as well as the bolt that holds the valve in place. Set that aside. You might want to push the torpedo in a little so you can get the bolt out. Slowly take the LP and the spring out. Now with your Allen key, you want to get the valve out. It's the cup. Now the valve, you have to try and push out of there. And it will pop out. Now, take your old valve and just set it aside. Now with your new assembly, put the spring in. You want to align the non-open side facing you and the LP that facing up. You want to first you want to put about a drop of oil on each O-ring. Not to go crazy. Let's set that aside. Slide that all back in. You'll hear it snap in. You want to first put the valve body bolt in a little, but don't tighten it yet. Just screw it into a little snug. Put the LP bolt back in, drop it in. Screw it in. Now tighten it up. You don't have to don't over crank it, just enough snug. So we're done with that. Now what you want to do is take your wiring back through the trigger frame.
bolts back on. On my Ego 11, my solenoid, I had originally set for 2 on the return and 7 on the forward. Um, the new dark kit, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be changing that to tune it as I break in the dark valve and adjust it accordingly. But just for comparison, we're going to leave everything the way it was that I had set on the Kush kit. So now what we want to do is put the wiring harness back, plug it all back in. Tuck all your wires in. Make sure none of your wires get in the way of your trigger. This is where a needle nose plier comes in handy. So you remove all the wiring out of the way. Because if you're not careful and you get the wire stuck in there, then you're gonna have firing issue problems because then the wire gets in the way of your micro switch just like that so with all that said and done close this back up It is a little chilly doing this install in the backyard because right now it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we put the regulator back on. We attach my macro hose, macro line. a drop of oil on the o-rings on the new dark bolt. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want to get build up in your eyes. It's all good. Nice thing I like about the new dark bolt is the fact that the way they cut it, it actually doesn't stick out of the back of the Eagle 11 which makes it really nice so it looks like it was made for this gun right from the get-go so we're gonna power this up and we're gonna reposition the camera on the stand so we can do a shooting test